Whilst karate has roots in the earliest days of MMA, dating back to Pancrase and the first UFC events, detractors were not sold for a long time, saying that MMA fighters would scorn traditional karate training methods in favour of other modern techniques. A turning point would occur at UFC 98. Shortly after Joe Rogan summarised the economical one-shot kill philosophy of certain karate styles, a blistering left hand from Lyoto Mishida would dispatch an outclassed Rashad Evans. Whilst the Mishida era would not be completely borne out, it has since generally caused a greater trend of acceptance of at least some karate training methods and techniques. As of 2019, there are now hundreds of karate black belts who have competed in MMA. In this video, I'm going to look at 30 karate black belts of note. Gerald Gordeau was the first karate practitioner to compete in modern MMA in North America in the UFC, competing at UFC 1. As an 8-time Kyokushin national champion, the inevitable happened 26 seconds into the first round when he dispatched sumo competitor Taylor Tuli with a head kick. Nevertheless, as was normal at the time, he was clueless on the ground and would eventually get submitted by Hoist Gracie. Next up on the list is Kudo practitioner Adam Kaliev. Kudo is Japanese hybrid karate style founded in 1981 by Kyokushin practitioner Takashi Azuma. Kaliev is known for his diverse spinning attacks. Alexandra Albu is a Shotokan stylist and Russian national champion in karate who holds a record of 3 wins and 2 losses in pro MMA at the time of me posting this video. Bas Rutten was one of the first karate black belts to compete in MMA at Pancrase events. To some people he is a Dutch kickboxer, but training in Kogashin has undoubtedly developed his roundhouse kicks, especially his notorious liver kick. Lyoto's brother Chinzo is also an MMA fighter and Shotokan black belt competing in the Bellator promotion. He is a good striker, he uses a distinctive Shotokan stance, albeit from an orthodox stance unlike Lyoto's southpaw stance. He has stoppage victories on his record with strikes. Chuck Liddell started with Koei Kan Karate when he was 12 and took up wrestling around the same time. He furthered his style training under John Hackleman's Kajikembo system. He is known for his looping bolo punches which have produced many knockouts and his roundhouse kicks which have caused KOs and broken arms. Damien Stasiak is a Shotokan black belt and former UFC fighter who identifies primarily as a karate striker though he has trained in Thailand. Eric Higawana is a Gojiru black belt and the son of Morio Higawana, one of the founders of the Gojiru system. He appears to make kata a great feature of his training. Footage of him competing in MMA can be scarcely found online but nonetheless he has compiled an 8-3 record in pro MMA. Yuotin Texera is a Kyokushin black belt known primarily for his kickboxing record. Nevertheless, he has also competed in MMA and has a 3-1 record. Although Frank Mir started training in karate at 5 years old, it wasn't until UFC 92, 9 years into his MMA career, that his striking took everyone by surprise. Switching between orthodox and southpaw, he landed punches from unorthodox angles against the iron chin Rodrigo Nogueira. He eventually dropped him and caused the first knockout loss of Nogueira's career. Beginning in the mid-2000s, the UFC's George St. Pierre would be one of the most iconic karate stylists in MMA for over a decade. He would draw criticism from detractors such as the UFC's Matt Serra and Dan Hardy who would claim that his emphasis on karate would be mainly a marketing gimmick. Meanwhile, the man himself would be adamant that his takedown success would be due to his early training in karate. His success with roundhouse kicks can't be denied and they have been a key factor in many of his fights. Gunnar Nelson is another Goju Ryu black belt. He is probably most known for sending a ripple through the MMA world when after 3 years of training he earned his black belt in BJJ after defeating standout heavyweight grappler Jeff Monson at the Abu Dhabi Combat Club Submission Grappling Championship. Nevertheless, his training in Gojo Ryu is obvious from watching him in action and he has had success with striking in many of his MMA fights. Harold Howard is another of the earliest karate practitioners to compete in MMA. He made his first appearance at UFC winning his first three fights by TKO before losing his next three due to his lack of grappling knowledge which was normal at the time. Hisaki Kato is a Kudo black belt. He is best known for upsetting Muay Thai veteran Joe Schilling in the Bellator promotion under MMA rules. When the rematch took place, this time under kickboxing rules, he again repeated the feat. 
Jeff Newton was a Kempo black belt who was in a number of exciting fights in the late 2000s before he went on to pursue other things. Katsunori Kakuno has one of the most distinctive and unorthodox styles in all of MMA. He has been known to use techniques such as a roundhouse kick with the ball of the foot. He has a record of 24-8-2 as a posting and was last seen competing in 2016. As I mentioned in the intro, Lyoto Mashida is probably the most famous karate practitioner to have competed in MMA. Or at least the most famous practitioner closely associated with karate. His signature moves are his foot sweeps, straight left hand and left roundhouse kick to the body. In contrast to many professional kickboxers who tried the game using a very tall stance that was easy to get under, he also in my opinion redefined takedown defence in the sport. Showing that if a fighter has good movement and uses a very deep stance, shrugging off takedowns with your hands will often suffice. Leg kicks would prove to be his weakness, but he has definitely been a key figure in the sport. Masie Gorski is another Shotokan karate black belt competing in MMA, winning many fights with strikes. Michelle Waterson, nicknamed the Karate Hottie, is probably the most famous female karate black belt to compete in MMA. She has shown she is more than a model though, repeatedly facing top ranked competitors in her weight range. Nick Dennis was a Kyokushin black belt who competed from 2006 to 2012. He was known as a potent striker with many KO victories. Nikita Krylov is a Kyokushin black belt who embodies the modern perception of the Kyokushin style. He has good roundhouse kicks and many head kick knockouts on his record. Robert Whittaker credits his early roots in Gojo Ryu Karate, a style in which he has a black belt as a key factor in his success. This fatation has propelled him to a career in which he has tasted UFC Championship gold. He was last seen getting knocked out by Israel Adesanya but it's no disgrace against a guy who not too long ago was a professional striker at the top of the heap in glory. Sage Northcutt is a guy who burst onto the scene as a man of many talents. Combining his status as an MMA fighter, was also dabbling in performance martial arts, working as a fitness model, and being a full-time student on the side. He was last seen getting annihilated by Cosmo Alexander, but he is still young and has plenty of time to improve if he wants to double down on MMA. Semi Shield has a background in Ashihara Karate, which is an offshoot of Gokushin. He is probably best known for winning the K1 World Grand Prix title a record of four times. Nevertheless, he also has a 26 14 and 1 MMA record. Shoni Carter is another early MMA karate practitioner. He has a black belt in Shulokan Karate, which is a knockdown style, drawing influence from grappling styles and white tie. He is probably best known for knocking out Matt Serra at UFC 31 with a spinning back fist. Sam Greco is a Kyokushin black belt who is best known for his kickboxing experience. He has also three wins, one loss and one draw in MMA with his sole loss coming in a split decision against Lyoto Mashida. Steven Thompson is arguably the most successful karate striker with a diverse attack in MMA at the time of posting. He has a string of knockouts on his record and has been described by Faraz Zahabi as the best striker in MMA that he's worked with. Uriah Hall is a second degree black belt in Kokushin under Tiger Shulman. He has mixed at a high level in the UFC, stopping many of his opponents with strikes. Yuki Kondo is the most experienced karate black belt on this list. Over a 13 year career, he has appeared in several major MMA promotions, from the UFC to Pancras to Pride to One Championship, knocking out many of his opponents on the way. Magdalena Jaraka is a black belt in the Shudokan style of karate, which is a style used by Shoni Kata I mentioned earlier. She is a multiple time national champion in her home country of Poland. The final competitor I'd like to look at is the legend Vitor Belfort. Belfort trained in karate before his 2001 bout with Heath Herring. He made it a particular feature of his training for Rich Franklin in their meeting in 2009 and it paid dividends with him knocking out Franklin in the first round. The bout goes to show that if you find a good instructor you can train in karate at any time and still get benefits. This bout will conclude my video and thank you for watching.